Hey there, today I wanna to show you how you can use some Power Automate in Forms. This is a really simple one, uh, but shows the power of this little tool that you have in Microsoft. So we have a form here embedded in a team where students can uh, request access to online services or websites that are currently blocked for them. So a really simple form. If we head across to Microsoft Forms, this is what the form looks like. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to go to my Office 365 homepage. I'm gonna click on the dots over here in the top left, and I'm gonna to go to Power Automate. So here I am in Power Automate, and you can see I've got a number of templates that come up here, but I specifically wanna look at Forms. Okay, so I'm gonna choose Microsoft Forms so I can see all of the, uh, the workflows here associated with Microsoft Forms. And there's a ton of templates. Okay, so if you look down the templates here, there is a heap of things and maybe putting in a, a more precise search will get you to where you wanna to go to. So there's all kinds of things that you can do and these all start with the trigger of a form being, uh, being completed. So the one that I'm looking for is send an email from a shared mailbox on Microsoft form submission. This one here is what I wanna do. So I'm gonna click on that it's first gonna check that I'm connected to these two services and signed in, so I'm gonna hit continue. Okay, so here's the setup here. So first thing I need to do is to pick a form. Um, now I'm gonna have a list of forms here, but I'm gonna enter a custom value. So I think that's easier. So if you go across to your form here, look at the URL of the form, it starts over here, and go to where it says ID equals, so that big X, and I'm gonna copy all of this up until and before the and sign there, all right? So I'm gonna copy that. That is the unique ID for the form. Get response detail, so I'm gonna put that unique identifier in there, so enter a custom value and put that in again. And now it's able to pick up the, the content from my form and I'm able to include that in my email. So I'm gonna specify where this is gonna come from, so I'm just gonna use my email address and then the people that this email is gonna to go to. Okay, so you can see that the default here is new response has been submitted to Microsoft Form at this time. So I might not wanna just put in the time, so I might wanna say, well, what is it this online service of app is called that, that people are requesting? So a new response will be submitted to, um, to request access to, now if I go across here to dynamic content, you can see now I'm getting the details of the questions in that particular form. So the name of the online service and website. Okay, so, so let's get rid of that. So this is the subject, okay. So request or access to the name of the online product. Okay, new response has been submitted. And I'll get rid of that. Submitted by responders email. Submission time, okay, so we can give the time. Um, I'm gonna add some extra stuff in here. So reason for use. I'm gonna put that in. And you can see um, link. So people will get all of this in the email, so they won't need to go anywhere else all of the stuff is gonna be in the email that they receive, okay? So that's about it. So it was a really simple simple form, simple responses, it's gonna to go to me, but it's also gonna to go to the help desk, which will trigger a help desk ticket, okay? So it's a very simple process that I'm setting up, but extremely powerful, and I can put in more than one email address there. I can put as many as I want in there. So I'm gonna save that now. You can certainly test your form by then creating a, um, it says flow is ready to go test it. So you can go <clears throat> test over here. So you can do it manually or automatically based on one that's already been done. So in this case here, I'd have to manually do it by actually writing in some stuff and making sure that the help desk get an email. But that's about it. So I've just set up a really simple flow here. So every time uh, someone fills in this form, rather than just me getting an email or nobody knowing about it, it's gonna trigger an email to the help desk and get them to support that um, response.